Our story starts off with the documentary series Project Greenlight, which was a TV show that ran from 2001 to 2015 for four seasons. It showcased up-and-coming filmmakers, giving them a chance to direct a feature. For the third season, the script that was picked was a script entitled Feast, and it followed them making the flick. It was directed by John Gulliger, who is the son of famous character actor Clue Gulliger, who also appears in the film, and written by Patrick Melton and Marcus Dunstan, who would later go on to write several of the Saw films. Feast would go on to have a very limited theatrical release and become a box office bomb. This is just one of those movies that revels in its own stupidity and schlock. I can't help but admire it in a weird way. I enjoyed the hell out of it, even though it was at times really gross, too much even for my taste. While I at first thought it was going to be a typical horror comedy with zombies, it was anything but. Firstly, the zombies weren't even zombies. They were these weird Lovecraftian mutant things, which I also appreciated. This came out at the absolute height of the zombie craze of the 2000s, and it probably would have been easier to make this a simple base under siege zombie film, but I really like how it does go against that, as well as going for the trashy comedy with horror elements rather than the horror movie with comedy elements. It does subvert some expectations in regards to who lives and who dies, some character motivations, and what the creatures actually want, if anything at all. This movie should have been bargain bin crap like something along the lines of Snakes on a Plane. But the difference with that is that Snakes on a Plane was originally made with the movie not being in on the joke, but retooled and shot to make it in on the joke after it got leaked onto the internet which made it not work as well. With Feast, it knows it's in on the joke, but the characters in the movie don't really, kinda sorta. They are kind of swept up in this situation, and they have to go along with it while there are only tidbits throughout of characters being like, this is kinda fucking stupid, isn't it? It's pretty much Sharknado, but done better and way more entertaining. Feast just nails its meta-comedy ideas while also kind of being fresh in a time when this wasn't done a lot. There had been horror comedies before this, obviously, but nothing as exaggerated or as idiotic as this, while also being genuinely entertaining and kind of good in some areas, like being a well-thought-out and fast-paced comedy movie with plenty of gore and idiotic shit that would make Deadpool blush. Well, nowadays, with movies like this being made all the time and meta-comedy being taken to all new heights to varying degrees, this movie and its ferocity made it stand out back then and especially nowadays. Because despite its minuscule budget, it takes advantage of everything it has going for it while also relying on some good talent behind the camera. I'm not going to say that this is highbrow entertainment in any way. Trust me, it's not. This is the lowest level of schlock you can actually go before it becomes a snuff film. It's ridiculous, fun, gory as hell, unbelievably stupid. But something about it makes me feel like there is something more to it than the low level schlock made nowadays. Probably having that perfect balance of being in on the joke while also not being in on the joke. Can't say anything about the sequels though.